set of footprints. Too small to be an adult. What could those bones belong to? Dolls? In the underworld? this a message Phoebe oh Phoebe I never thought I'd see you again are you a goddess Phoebe it's me Cassandra it's nice to meet you Cassandra is that your Eden I wish I had an eagle. I know you do, Phoebe. I know you do. What are you doing here? Playing? How do you know my name? Kefalonia, Marcos, Athens, Aspasia. Do you remember any of it? Me? I don't remember you. Do you work for the man with one eye? Who's that? He gave me this water when I was thirsty. You drank Lethe's water? Phoebe, this is very important. I need you to remember who gave you that. I... I don't remember his name. Um, he took my toy. You had an eagle, like Icarus. If we get your eagle back, maybe you'll remember. No, I remember everything. I think. Try to think. Do you know where the man with one eye took your wooden eagle? I think he said something about the pit. The pit of deprivation? That's it. Do you remember anything from before drinking that water? No, I, I've always been here. The man with one eye should never have given you this water or taken your toy eagle. We're going to get it back. You mean steal? Stealing is exactly what I mean. Something tells me you are going to be a natural. Want to come with me? You want me to come on an adventure with you? Okay. Then let the adventure begin. You remind me a lot of a girl I knew on Kefalonia. Have you ever been there? I've always been right here. What was the girl like? Oh, she was brave. And smart. She'd say she looked up to me, but... I'm the one who looked up to her. You looked up to her? Did you ever tell her? No. I wanted to. But I ran out of time. Don't be sad. I bet she knew. That girl left Kefalonia eventually. Where did she go? Athens. Where she was loved by people like Pericles. Does that name sound familiar to you? <laughs> That's a funny name. It sounds like a sneeze. What about Anthusa? No one who meets her forgets her. No, sorry. Even if this doesn't bring her memory back, we'll make new ones, together. My eagle! Couldn't have done it without you. Now, hold it. Do you remember anything? Cassandra? Yes. That's my name. Good, Phoebe. Good. You didn't come. 
I'm here now. I'm here. Everyone just left me. My parents, Marcos, Aspasia, even you. What was wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? No, Phoebe. There is nothing wrong with you. Adults are selfish, stupid. They don't realize how incredible a girl like you is until you're gone. What do you mean? Why don't you tell me what you remember? Pericles was dying. Everyone who wasn't sick yet needed to get out of Athens. I thought I was alone. I was always alone. And then... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Phoebe. I'm... Where are the Golden Fields? You mean Elysium? I was there. It was beautiful. But I came here to find my parents. You traveled to the underworld to save your family. That's very brave. Just like you want to find yours. But mine still need me. I should go to them. Phoebe, you've been through a lot, and you've never met your parents. It's okay to be nervous. I was nervous to meet mine. I wouldn't be nervous. If you came with me? Before we go anywhere, where are your parents? I was following a clue. It said, those parted from their beloved are doomed to the Ixion with. Maybe I'm their beloved. Are you sure you're okay? No. But Amistios taught me to always be brave, even when I'm feeling down. So I am being brave. Sailing to Elysium can be a difficult journey. Do you know how long you were there? I woke up on a boat. Everything was cloudy. Then there was light, and golden fields, and waterfalls. Only the bravest warriors are allowed there, you know. Descending to the underworld is proof that you deserve your place among them. Oh, I don't know. It would be an honor to be there for you when you meet your parents. Huh? The last I heard about my parents, they were hiding in the Ixion. Oh, hiding? From what? The underworld is scary. Maybe they're not fighters like us. I could teach them what you taught me. I'm sure you could. Please, I already told you. Go tell the Cyclops the girl isn't here, and neither is her family. Now get back! Relax. We're not going to hurt you. But we need to know what happened here. Those thugs followed the Cyclops of Kefalonia to their graves. And now they follow him in the underworld. He sent them through here, looking for a girl. The man with one eye. Have you ever met a girl named Phoebe? This is Phoebe. So you are, my dear. I loved your parents as I loved my own. They hid here with me and told tales about the great warrior Phoebe who sailed to Elysium. They called me a warrior? When Cerveros died, they snuck off to find you themselves. But the Cyclops is looking for you too. Excuse us, please. I remember now. The man with the one eye is the Cyclops. He forced me to drink the water. He must know we stole your eagle back and came to retaliate. What do we do? The gates to Elysium are open. That's how your parents got through. I know the way. What about her? She's a friend of my parents. I want to help her. She seems like she can fend for herself. The Kiris are magic. They heal people who get hurt in battle. They live close by. I could... Phoebe... I can do this. I'll be quick. 
Then we'll go to Elysium and find my parents. <sighs> All right. But don't take too long, or I'm coming after you. Phoebe's eagle. But where is she? Eagle bear. The sad Tell me what you did to Phoebe. Help me! It's a The Eagle Bearer. I overheard the Cyclops saying you were in the Underworld, but I didn't believe it. I'm looking for a girl. Her name was Phoebe. Is. Her name is Phoebe. They took a girl onto one of their boats, but... But what? She wasn't moving. Tell me where they were sailing. I couldn't see. The Charon's at the dock on the riverbank. No one sails without him knowing. How long ago did they leave? If you set sail now, you can probably catch up to them. But be quick. Get out of here while you can. I'm going to find the Cyclops and stop him once and for all. Take this as thanks. You can pay Charon to send you down the sticks after them. Prisoners said the Cyclops took a friend of mine down the sticks. Oh, the young girl from Elysium. They dumped her lifeless body into one of my old ports. Take me to her. What is it you fleshlings do to calm down? Breathe? Yes. Breathe and tell me what happened. There's no time to explain. Here, I can pay. Now let's sail. Very well. I know precisely where the Cyclops of Kefalonia was taking your young friend. It's a gate. The place should seem familiar to all of you. Thank you. Now we have to go. My home on Kefalonia. How is this possible? Phoebe! Phoebe! Been a long time. Heard 
And you and the girl finally came down to join us. Couldn't pass up the opportunity to show you both a warm Kevalonian welcome. If you hurt her. If. I will cut out your other fucking eye, and this time, it's going up your ass, Cyclops! No one calls me that! Give it to me. and try. No, 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 no. Ella. Ella. Birth. Mother of all. I greet you. Cassandra? Oh, you're okay. And you're here. I'll always be with you, Phoebe. Forever. No matter what. Thank you. Can you stand? What is this place? And where is the Cyclops? Don't worry, the Cyclops is gone. And this is a doorway to Elysium. So that's it? Through there? I'll find my real parents. You can do this, Phoebe. Let's go. Seeing this place makes me miss Kefalonia. We had some good days, didn't we? I don't want to go. You have no choice, Phoebe. You belong with your parents. No. I belong with you. Please. Don't make me go. Don't be afraid. I'm leaving this place too once I finish what I started. But I will be with you. I uh, found this. Take it with you. To keep me close. What if... my parents don't like me? If they don't like you, that's their problem. But you have to give them a chance to love you. And if they don't take it, then you'll make a new family. Just like we did on Kefalonia. But I won't be able to forget you. You're my family too. 
Can I come back here and find you? No. Once you leave, you can never come back. But one day, a long time from now, I will come to you, and we'll tell each other all about our adventures. You'll always be my family, no matter what. I think I'm ready. Phoebe, the warrior who sailed to the Golden Fields. Phoebe, who plunged into the underworld to save her family. Phoebe, the eagle bearer. You have made me so proud. Walk tall. I told you she wouldn't let the kid lose her memory. Instead, she drew out the child's own strength and inspired her to endure her burden. Remarkable. like someone I once knew. We fought together when Cleon and the Athenians landed in Amphipolis. Don't you remember? We fought side by side. Victory was near, but then... You were killed. Demos. There is nothing but darkness after that. Sandra? It's good to see you, old friend. Friend? Friends watch each other's backs, but you were always out for yourself. My needs and the needs of our people were never a passing thought. I know I let you down. I tried to make it up to you at Amphipolis, but... I couldn't save you in time. What are you doing here? You're not dead, are you? No, not yet at least. I have a staff from my father. My real father. It has powers. I was sent to the underworld to learn how to use them. Powers? It's a long story. But I've been all over Elysium looking for answers. My search brought me here. You've been to Elysium? Honor the gods, honor Sparta. 
Keep your oaths, and Elysium is yours. My father told me this as a child, and every single day of my life I lived by that code. But now in death, I'm sentenced to this misery. If there's anyone I fought with who deserves paradise, it's you. Then why am I here? You should be taking this up with Hades. This was Hades' decision. He says I can go to Elysium on one condition. I need to confront my greatest enemy. Demos. Demos. Brasidas, you shouldn't be waiting here to fight him. Why not? Demos still lives. Hades tricked you. No matter. He'll show up. Eventually. What did Hades tell you exactly? He said... ...to walk Elysium in death... ...the son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. Gods and their fucking riddles! Can't they ever just say what they mean? But I think I've already solved your first problem. And that is? A true son of Sparta wouldn't dare face an enemy without their shield. We need to find yours. It's in the Forgotten Sepulchre. I tried to retrieve it, but Hades sent guards to defend the tomb after some Malakas killed Seboros. That Malakas was me. And now I'm stuck working for Hades. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? You've made things around here... complicated. I wasn't the friend you needed in life. Let me be a friend to you now. Courage eludes me in the underworld. Deep down, I'd hoped I'd never have to face Demos again. What can you tell me about this forgotten sepulcher? It houses the armor, trophies, and weapons of dishonored warriors. Things they were buried with in death, but were stripped of in the underworld. How will I know which shield is yours? You should know my shield by now. It bears the colors of Sparta and has been through many battles. The weight of your shield will help you feel like your old self. Make sure to take only mine. Taking any others will be your doom. Why would Brasidas' shield be in a place for dishonored warriors? He was the most honorable warrior I knew. That doesn't make sense. This is the underworld. Drink the water, it makes you forget. Your shield, General. I'll never forget the day this was first handed to me. I was a boy. It was as tall as I was. My commander told me, to hold this is to hold up Sparta. Drop it, and Sparta falls. Tell me what Elysium's like. It isn't what you think. It's... Do you feel cold? Elysium is boring. Not since I showed up. Ah, yes. You do have a knack for livening things up wherever you go. Ah, still dreaming of paradise, I see. Well, no one wants you to get what you deserve more than me. I'm glad you two have found each other. We could all use a little help from time to time. Well, you've got your shield. Are you ready to face your enemy? I am.
Don't look, Brasidas. Hades is trying to get to you. It's been a long time, Brasidas! Come! Face your undoing! I am not afraid of you, Zemos! What is this? An even greater enemy defeated you long before Demos ended your life! Zemos was blessed by the fury of the gods! And even after he cut you down once, you still didn't learn! It wasn't hubris. I fought for honor. You made Sparta proud that day, Brasidas. You honored your father's oath. Perhaps I didn't. A Spartan should trust the warrior at their side. This time, we fight together. It would be my honor. It was good fighting together again. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Spears were my brother's idea. Poseidon can be cruel sometimes. I did as you asked. You promised me Elysium. Hmm. Not quite. But you said... I said that to walk Elysium in death, a son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. And you have not yet done so. I know, I know. It's all very hard to wrap your little mortal minds around. Which is why I'm going to help you. Why these games? Why not just let him go? Because eternity is long. Letting you go wouldn't be much fun, now would it? Find the forest of Oasis. The dead will point the way. The forest of Oasis. Sounds inviting. It's where I keep the miserable humans who ended their mortal suffering by their own hand. If there's one thing I hate, it's uninvited guests. The dead will point the way to what? I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. You'll just have to... trust me. Come, Brasidas. The sooner we get this done, the sooner you can be free of this place.
I've been waiting for you. Who are you? I am Lilera, and you are Brasidas. General, conqueror, hero. Hades sent me to find you. So you finally come to reunite me with my love. Charon carried us along the river, but we got separated. Bring my love to me, and I'll tell you all I know. Where must I go? Between the sulfuric pools and the village of the condemned, there is a cave. My love lies within. This task is mine. I will go. You speak like you already know Brasidas. I'll tell you all, if Brasidas succeeds. What do you mean, if? The weight of the past can be a much heavier burden to carry than we realize. I should go find him. He might need my help. There you are. What's wrong? What is this place? The cradle of the underworld. Little ones who die too soon are kept here. The dead cannot enter. The dead can't enter, eh? Well, let's see about the living. Baby's urn. Her love was her child. What did you find? Ashes. Her love was her baby. Why would Hades have you return the ashes of a woman's child? I don't know. What did you do to him? The past was too much for him to bear. Brasidas, talk to me. I... Please, I know you've suffered. Still suffer. Tell me what happened and we'll leave you alone. We were a quiet village before the Spartans came. My husband was no warrior. He looked at the vineyard. Our land was occupied by Athens. Our men were friends, supplied with armor and weapons in case of invasion. We never thought that they would come. When the battle was over, Spartans flooded the village, drunk on victory and blood. They torched our homes. Your husband attacked me in the street. He was protecting his people, his family. But Brasidas butchered my husband. And when I tried to protect him, he tossed me aside. <laughs> my love didn't survive the fall. I didn't know. And so we named him Brasidas the Butcher. He massacred my people and took everything from me. I, I found my husband's sword and ended the pain. Is this true? I don't know what happened. War is chaos. If you want to point fingers, point them at Ares. The god of war didn't run his sword through my husband. Didn't throw me and my child to the ground. Rasidas the Butcher did. Come, Rasidas. There is nothing more to be done here.
Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Keep your oaths, and Elysium is yours. I made an oath to protect the innocent, and I broke it. Still feel you deserve to walk the fields of paradise, butcher? Don't call him that. Why not? That woman's entire village does. What's left of it, anyways? You Spartans really know how to torch a village. You never answered my question. Say the word, and Elysium is yours. Help me, Cassandra. I, I don't know what to do. Brasidas, you were a friend like no other. You lived and died with honor to the gods and to Sparta. And you kept all your oaths to me. If anyone deserves to walk the fields of Elysium, it's you. I lived by a code of honor. And now in death, I've done what you've asked. I will go to Elysium. Ah, yes. Your father's code. What was it? Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I did everything in my power to prove you failed to live up to that code, but I suppose someone helped to convince you otherwise. Your decision's been made. The fields of Elysium are yours. But know this. I never make a mistake. You'll be the only one in Elysium who doesn't belong there. The moment these ashes leave your hands is the moment you'll find yourself in Tartarus forever. Now say goodbye. I suppose not all Spartans are as predictable as you thought. Goodbye, Brasidas. <laughs>